I moderate several Facebook groups, and the groups are amazing and well worth any trouble of moderating, but it is an interesting gig. In the groups I moderate, the rules are pinned at the top of the group, they're in the About section, and members have to explicitly agree to follow them when they join the group. And if you think that stops people from breaking the rules, you've probably never moderated a Facebook group. Uh, the rule that gets broken the most and is most important in the groups that I am in is no weight loss or diet talk of any kind. These are fat positive, health at every size based groups. And to be clear, people are allowed to do whatever they want with their bodies in their own lives. They just aren't allowed to talk about weight loss or dieting in this group. There are four groups of people who break the rules. The first are the confused. They're just, they're not sure what group they're in. They're not sure what the rules are. And while they're harming people by breaking the rules, it's not malicious. The second group are trolls. They know exactly what group they're in because they went to a great amount of time and effort to create a profile that would be approved so that they could post one horrifying thing and then get kicked out of the group. I do envy them their free time though. It seems that you have to trade your humanity for it, which I'm not into. The third group are the entitled. They join this group fully intending to break this rule because they think that they should be allowed to talk about weight loss and dieting wherever and whenever they want. They start posts with things like, I mean, it's okay to love your body, but, and they will defend Weight Watchers like you badmouth their mother. Not in this group. The final group are the specialist specials who ever specialed. They know that they're breaking the rule, but they feel that their case is so special that it should be allowed. They start posts with things like, I mean, I know there's no weight loss talk in this group, but, and then proceed to engage in a ton of weight loss talk. Often they're just adding healthism and ableism to fat phobia, which does not make it a better look. Because I don't know what group somebody's in when they make one of these posts, I would always moderate the same way. We delete the post, we send them a private message explaining exactly why their post got deleted, and then the fun begins. There are several reactions you can get to this. The first, and most people do this, they just apologize. They didn't mean to make the mistake, they won't make it again. Mistakes happen, it's fine. Then there are the flouncers. They immediately go to the group and leave a drama-filled post about how they have been wronged and then they announce their departure like they're a train and this group is Grand Central Station. I've developed a bit of a sixth sense about who's going to flounce and so I pride myself on being able to get these posts down within a couple minutes. And then the final group are the people who are the funniest to me because they threaten to leave the group. And literally, they'll, t this week I got one. I mean, whatever, but if I can't talk about weight loss, then I'm just going to leave the group. Okay? I mean, what do they think I'm going to say? Like, no, no, please don't go. We want you so bad. You can break all our rules. You can harm all our members. Just please, please don't go. They must be so disappointed when I'm like, sounds good to me. If you can't follow the rules, then leaving is the best decision for everyone. I have to say, the most surprising thing about moderating groups has been how often people yell at me because they broke the rules. But that's mob life. And that's it for this little bit of comedy. I hope you're enjoying these and getting a laugh or two. I hope you're doing well wherever you're at. And if you want more comedy, you can find it at funnyfatgirl.com. Bye.